Hello, my name is Dr. Johnny Gerardo, and I'm a family physician here at Beacon Main Street in Granger. Uh, I wanted to talk with you for a minute about some things you should consider when the weather warms up. Our bodies have a really unique way of cooling down, and when we get warmer, we release moisture in the form of sweat. Uh, when the sweat evaporates, it cools our skin, and this cooling leads to cooling of our internal body temperature. Uh, this can be problematic because if you lose too much sweat for too long, you can become dehydrated, which can be dangerous. Um, some signs and symptoms that you're getting dehydrated include nausea, vomiting, headache, rapid heart rate, dizziness, fatigue, muscle cramps, and weakness. Uh, there are certain people that are at higher risk of these problems when the weather gets hot, including the elderly and small children, infants, those with certain health conditions like diabetes or heart disease, kidney disease, um, and respiratory illnesses like COPD and asthma. There are also certain medications that can lead to increased dehydration when the weather um, gets hotter, certain things like diuretics that are commonly used for swelling or high blood pressure. Um, if you have any concerns about your medications or underlying health issues, you should always reach out to your doctor uh, to, to get the best information. Um, some tips that you can follow to try to stay cool when the weather heats up for include first and foremost staying hydrated. So typically water is going to be enough. Um, you can drink other things, but, but typically your body can take the water and rehydrate itself and it's going to balance its own electrolytes. Um, so you don't typically need sugary sports drinks or anything else. Um, if you do plan on working outside or playing outside, you should try to do it maybe earlier in the day or later in the day when the sun is less intense. Um, but if you do plan on being outside in the middle of the day, um, try to utilize frequent breaks or shade, fans, umbrellas, whatever you can do to, to get out of the sun for a little bit. Um, if you are planning on being outside for extended periods of time, also uh, very important to use things like sunscreen, um, hats, sunglasses, or sun shirts, especially for kids. If you have uh, family and friends that are at increased risk of complications during heat waves, uh, try to reach out to them. Make sure they're doing okay. Make sure that they're staying cool and they have everything they need um, so that they don't get dehydrated or have any medical issues um, when the weather heats up. If you follow some of these simple tips, it will help you have a safe and cool summer.